Hey, Divine Ones. It's Latoya O'Keele, baby. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I didn't even intend to be live like this this morning, but the Holy Spirit got on me, baby. The Holy Spirit got on me, and I had to come on here and share this message with y'all this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was complaining about the sun for a minute. Then I said, wait a minute, baby. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to see the sun shine this morning. Come on now. It's a blessing to, to feel the sun this morning. It's a blessing. If the sun shining on you this morning, baby, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, baby. God said, count your blessings. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all my divine ones. Y'all come on in this morning. I got a word for y'all, baby. God, just, just stop me in my tracks, baby. Glory be to God. As I was dropping my son off this morning. And the Holy Spirit started to speak to me. Uh, and, and this is what God was telling me. And this is what I came on here to share with y'all. He says, I'm raising it up for you. God is raising some things up for you, baby. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, use me today. Toya, get in the bike seat. Holy Spirit, take over. I hear the Lord say that I'm raising some stuff up for you, baby. He says, the opportunity that I have for you glory be to God. Speak Holy Spirit. He said the opportunity that I have for you doesn't even exist. Come on now. God said it don't even exist yet. But he said because you are my chosen one. Glory be to God. He said I'm going to raise up the opportunity for you. Let me tell y'all what he just told me. Glory be to God. He said woman he said did you forget? He said I'm an expert at raising the dead. Glory be to God. Listen to your daddy, baby. He said, I'm an expert at raising the dead. That's what the Holy Spirit just revealed to me. I said, glory be to God. He said, I'm an expert at taking that which they said was no life in, that it that it was dead, that it was dry, the dry bones. He said, I'm an expert at, at raising the dead, at, at picking up what was lost, re reviving and, and refreshing and bringing it back to life. I'm an expert. He said, that's what I did with y'all in the beginning. Glory be to God. He said, did you forget my character? Did you forget who I am? God said, check my track record. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, check his track record. Somebody better check his track record today, baby. I came to speak to some folks that's lost. I came to speak to some folks that's broken this morning. Come on now. I came to speak over your life. I come as a messenger for the kingdom of God today, baby, to let you know that God is raising up some opportunities in your life. I heard God say that it may be dead today, but he said he going to speak over it, baby, and he going to raise it up. You better check his track record. Glory be to God. He told me, baby, he said, I am undefeated. Come on now. Somebody said, check his track record, baby, because my daddy is undefeated. My daddy ain't never lost a battle. My daddy ain't never lost a fight. He is undefeated, baby. Check his track record. Glory be to God. Because in the beginning, baby, man, when he created man, when he created Adam and he made us in his image and he made us in his likeness, when he created this man, when he created this vessel, it was just a hunk of flesh, baby. It was just the dead is all. It ain't have no life in it. No life in it. But what did God do? He took his breath and he blew the breath of life into man. Glory be to God. And in Genesis, it told us, it said when God did that, man became a living, breathing soul, a walking, talking, thinking soul. And God said, I'm an expert at raising the dead. I'm an expert at giving life to that which there is no life. Don't tell me what God can't do. Come on now. God said, all I need you to do is believe, baby. He said, if, if it seemed like all hope is lost with that child, God said, all you got to do is believe. If it seemed like all hope is lost in your business, all hope is lost with your health, with your finances, with your body, with your relationship, with your marriage. He said, all I need you to do is believe because he said, I'm getting ready to raise up some things in your life. Glory be to God. I don't care what is dead. I don't care how long it been dead. Come on now. All God got to do is open up his mouth. All God got to do is speak over your situation. And all you got to do is believe. Glory be to God. Do you believe today, baby? Somebody put that in the comment and say, yes, I believe. I believe in the power of God. I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. Come on now. I believe that the power of God is on the inside of me. Say it today, baby. I believe that I can do all things 
Glory be to God. I believe I can do all things through Christ Jesus which strengthen me. All you got to do is believe, baby. And I just heard God say that as the sun shine down this morning, come on now. He said, I'm shining on your situation. He said, I'm shining on your finances. Come on now. He said, I'm shining on your children today. I'm shining on that bank account today. I'm shining on that body today. Glory be to God. He said, I'm getting ready to raise some stuff up. He, let me tell y'all what God told me as I started to get, as I started, um, some time ago preparing to become a homeowner and preparing to buy my house. I began to look at the world and I began to look at all the stuff that was going on and, and how they were jacking up the prices in the market and how they were charging all the, the high prices for the, for, for basically little huts. But they charging three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. I started looking at this stuff. God said, what you looking at that for? What you looking at that for? Come on now. He said, do you not know that I am an expert at raising up an opportunity for you? He said, don't you look at what the environment look like. Don't you look at what's going on in the world. Come on now. Because God said you are kingdom. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say I'm kingdom. Even if you ain't, baby. Call those things that be not as though they were. Speak it over your life today until some shift. Speak it over your life today until some change, baby. Say, I'm kingdom in this thing. God said you got kingdom all up in all up and through you, baby. He said you 99.999% heals. He said if they cut you open, baby, you're going to bleed out kingdom. You kingdom, baby. That's why you don't get along with these folks. That's why you don't fit in with the world because you are not of this world, but you belong to the kingdom of God, baby. You kingdom. And because you are a kingdom, come on now. God said, where well, there would otherwise be no opportunity for you. Ooh, where well, there would otherwise be no, no promotion, no job, no house, no relationship, no man, no woman. Uh-huh. They said it ain't no good women out here. Glory be to God. They said it ain't no good men out here, but God said, baby, if you are kingdom. Woo. He said, I will raise up a person for you. I will raise up the dead for you, baby. God said a man probably didn't even exist. Woo. He said a woman probably didn't even exist, but he said, if you are kingdom and if you believe, he said, I will raise the dead for you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God will speak over somebody, son. Okay. God will speak over somebody, daughter, baby. And they're going to appear before you. God ain't worried about getting the opportunity for you. God is worried about you becoming the person that can have it. Glory be to God. Because when you become the person that can have it, come on now. All the things that that person would have would come to you one by one. God said it's going to be added unto you. Don't worry about do it exist. Don't worry about the climate. Don't worry about the environment. Don't worry about what's going on. That's what God told me. This is what he told me. And I'm and I and I'm and I praise God that I'm able to witness this today. Glory be to God. That I'm able to be a witness for the kingdom of God today. This ain't got nothing to do with me. This ain't got nothing to do with bragging. This ain't got nothing to do with that. This is me witnessing the glory of the kingdom of God. God told me, He said, Woman, He said, I'm gonna build you a house from the ground up. He said, when they tell you that lumber is at an all-time high they can't find no lumber everything being delayed the, the price of the of the market is too high they saying don't buy nothing right now they saying don't do nothing right now god said forget all that he said i'm gonna raise up an opportunity for you Glory be to God. I come as a witness, baby, for the kingdom of God today. Where there is no opportunity, God said, I will create you one, I will make you one. He said, All you got to do is believe. He is an expert, baby, at raising the dead. Glory be to God. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit today. Y'all got to excuse me because he, he, when he when he get on me like this, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it, baby. I used to listen to the old folk when they say it's just like fire shut up in your bones, baby. I used to think they were crazy, but I see what they talk about now, baby. Because when you get kingdom for real, come on now. When you get the Holy Spirit for real, there's going to be a boldness that's going to come upon you. There's going to be a confidence that's going to come upon you and people going to know it. People going to know it's a change in you. People going to know it's something different about you. They might not know God, but they know it's something different about that woman. It's something different about that man. Glory be to God. I hear God say that I'm raising up an opportunity for you. He says, stop looking at the world. That's what he told me. He says, stop looking at everybody else when they telling you, you need to do this and you need to do that. And people come telling you and they don't mean no harm. This is what God told me. He said, they don't mean no harm. He said, they just speaking to you from their belief system. They don't believe it's possible. Come on now. They don't believe that God can do it. They don't believe that you, that you the one out of a million that God going to choose. They don't believe that, but you got to believe. Come on now. 
You got to believe that you are different from everybody else. You got to believe that God will create an opportunity for you. It don't matter what everybody else going through. Come on now. It don't matter what everybody else business going under and what everybody else dealing with this and that in their marriage. God telling you that if you are kingdom, he said, I'm going to raise up somebody for you. Glory be to God. He said, I'm going to raise up an opportunity for you, baby. God said, I ain't studying about these folk. I ain't studying about what they say going on. I ain't studying about what they saying on the news. Let me tell y'all something. The environment ain't never stopped God from doing what he wanted to do. God ain't care what was going on. He ain't care what kind of crisis or recession or, or whatever was going on. That ain't never stopped God from doing what he wanted to do. Glory be to God. It stopped you from believing. See, you start looking around just like how Peter was out there on that water. Peter was doing the impossible. Peter was walking on water, baby. But what he started doing, he took his eyes off of Jesus. He lost focus and he started looking around at his environment. He started looking around at where he was and everything that was going on. And he lost sight of what was important. He took his eyes off of the prize. Come on now. He took his eyes off of Jesus. And when he lost focus, he began to fail. He began to sink. He began to go down. And the Lord said, so shall it be with you. He said, long as we stay right here. Come on now. He said, long as you keep your focus, baby. He said, you're going to walk on water. I hear the Lord say, water walkers walk. Come on now. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, water walkers. God said, I'm calling you to be a water walker in this season, baby. What does it mean to be a water walker? It means that you're going to do what everybody said was impossible. They say, ain't no way. Come on now. They say, ain't no way you can do that. They say, ain't no way you can be that. Ooh. They say, ain't no way you can accomplish that. Ain't no way you can have that kind of business. Ain't no way you can have that kind of impact, that kind of influence, have that kind of woman, have that kind of man. Ain't no way. God said, yes, it is with you. It is a way because you a water walker. Now, God said, keep your eyes off them folks and what they saying and what they talking about and what they doing and how they plotting and how they planning and how they scheming. He said, don't look at that. He said, when you look at that and you think about that, you just like Peter when he took his eyes off of Jesus. And he said, you're going to start to sink, baby. He said, you're going to start to go down. Come on now. He said that the problems of this world going to start to choke the life out of you. He said, you got to keep your focus on Jesus and you're going to walk on water. Glory be to God. I came on here today to let y'all know, baby. Don't look at the environment. Don't look at what's going on. Don't look at the climate of, of the world. Don't This world going to always be going through something. Because they being hard-headed and they won't do what God told them to do. So you're going to reap what you sow. Don't you worry about them. That's their portion. God said you get yourself together. You seek the kingdom of God. And you start sowing good seeds. And I'm telling you that it does not matter what. The, it don't even matter what your neighbor going through next door. Do y'all hear what I'm telling you? It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't even matter what your neighbor going through next door. It don't even matter what these folk dealing with. It does not matter. Do you understand God when he tells you that it will not come near your dwelling? Come on now. He says destruction will not come near you. Sickness will not come near you. Poverty will not come near you. But he said you got to keep your eyes focused on me. Glory be to God. And he says, understand that I do my best work. Woo. He says, I do my best work when man says it's impossible. Okay. I do my best work. God said, I sit back and I let them, I let the deck, I let the deck stack up. I let it stack up against you. Come on now. He said, I let them stack up the deck against you. I let them put all their statistics in there. I let them call you everything but a child of God. Come on now. I let them tell you you ain't never going to be nothing. I let them beat you down, beat your self-esteem down. He said, I let the devil think that he done won because he said it is for the glory of the kingdom of God, baby. He said, I'm an expert at raising that which is dead. Some of y'all dead in the spirit today, baby. You ain't felt the presence of God in a long time. But I hear the Lord say that when you hear this word today, come on now, something going to shake in your spirit this morning and God going to begin to raise you up. I know what he'll do, baby, because I was dead. Do you understand me? I was dead in the spirit. I began to look at my old pictures of, of how I used to live and, and, and just how I used to carry myself and, and what my personal space looked like. And, and, and I heard somebody say this one time. They said, you look like your mind. Glory be to God. They said, you look like your mind. If I want to know what's in your mind, all I got to do is look at your space. All I got to do is look at your personal space. All I got to do is look at your closet and look at your trunk and look at your desk and look at your, your personal space that only you be at. 
And I can see what's in your mind because you're going to look like your mind. Your personal space going to look like your mind. Your body going to look like your mind. Glory be to God. Your relationships going to look like your mind. Your marriage going to look like your mind. So if you want to change your life, you got to change what's on the inside. You got to change your mindset. Because when I started looking back at my old pictures and stuff, and, and I didn't understand why God had me taking pictures of that stuff. But now when I look back on it, I understand. He was showing me what was in my mind. I had clothes tossed everywhere. Wasn't nothing hung up. Stuff was in baskets and totes. And I had to dig through a whole bunch of clothes to be able to find one t-shirt. To be able to find one shirt. Wasn't no organization. Wasn't no socks here. Wasn't no undies here. Wasn't no jeans here. Wasn't no sweaters there. It wasn't none of that. It was just disorganized, disoriented. It was just a hot mess. And God was showing me. He said, that's what your mind was, woman. Your mind was a hot mess. So your environment got to match. The outside going to match the inside. If you want to change the outside, you got to change the inside first. Glory be to God. See, this is this, this the reason why I'm telling y'all all this. Because before God raise up anything in your life, before he go to raising up the dead for other folks and, and, and bringing opportunities to you, before he raise up anything externally, he going to raise you up internally first. See, we be looking for God to do something outside of us, but God say, no, 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 baby. He said, before we get there, we got some internal work to do. We got some stuff on the inside to do. Because if I go to raising up stuff and bringing you opportunities and giving you this and giving you that, and you have not become the person internally, you have not changed internally, the Lord said, that's going to be a hot mess. So he said, we got to work on you first. Somebody put that in the comment and say, work on me, Jesus. Ooh, I love that song, baby. They say, work on me, Lord. Work on me, Jesus. Work on my mind. Work on my attitude. Some of y'all, come on now. I love you. You a divine one. But you got some attitudes. You got some, you got some personality traits that God say that is not divine. He said that is not royalty, baby. That is not royal like behavior. So he got, he said, I got to transform you. I got to change you. He said, I got to throw you in the slow cooker. Glory be to God. Because while God is cooking you slow and steady, baby, he's raising you up. Let me tell y'all something. I used to walk around all the time with my head down. I was afraid to look people in their eyes. I went talk to people. I lived a defeated life. I, I thought that all I came here to do was to, was to have these children and, 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 and just take care of my children. That's all right for some people if that's your purpose. But I wasn't happy. I wasn't content with that. So I knew that there was something else that I was supposed to be doing. I knew that there was an impact that I was supposed to be having on this earth glory be to god but the devil had beat me down with my self-esteem he spoke through the people that i love to tear me down to make me feel like i was nothing to make me feel like i couldn't do nothing like i wasn't worth nothing who am i talking to baby glory be to god but God said, woman, I got a work for you to do in my kingdom. Come on now. Just like he's speaking to you today, baby. He says, I got a work for you to do in my kingdom. God began to work on me. He started working on my mind. That's it, baby. He started working on the inner me. He started working on the part of me that no man could see. He started raising me up. I was dead in the spirit, but I heard God call my name. Come on now. And God is calling you today, baby. He says, my sheep know my voice and a stranger. They will not answer. He calling you today. That soft, still voice that's on the inside that keep on speaking to you. Come on now. That keep on, keep on leading you. Keep on directing you. Keep on guiding your footsteps. That is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Come on now. He is on the inside of every one of y'all, baby. He not only speaks to pastor. Okay. He not only speaks to bishop, even though they want you to think that he the only one, that they the only one he talking to. I'm telling you that God talks to all of his children, but all of his children don't make themselves available. Available to hear him. God ain't got no respect to persons. Come on now. He gonna talk to you just like he talked to me. He gonna, he gonna reveal himself to you just like he revealed himself to me. Glory be to God. But you gotta be available. See, I, I had to be available this morning. I had to be available for God to use me. I couldn't be caught up in what I had going on. If I'd have been caught up in what I had going on, y'all wouldn't be getting this message today. I had to move me to the side and how I felt and what I wanted and my personal preferences. And I had to get on here and I had to give y'all what God put on the inside of me. And I'm telling you that when you start doing that, baby, that you're going to be blessed. 
There is a law called the law of sowing and reaping. Come on now. And the Bible says that whatsoever a man soweth, it says that shall he also reap. Glory be to God. And then I let you in on a little secret. You ain't got to live no kind of way. Okay. You ain't got to live no kind of way. If you start getting in line with the laws, you're going to automatically be blessed because that's just law. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. That go for the sinner. That go for the saint. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap it. That's the law. Glory be to God. I love y'all so much. I want y'all to understand. I want y'all, I feel the fire of the Holy Spirit today, baby. Glory be to God. I praise God for the sun. I'm going to tell y'all like God told me. He said, don't you never again in your life complain about the sun. He said, there's so many people that wish that they could have the sun shining on them. God said, that is a blessing, baby, to be under the sun, to be for, for the sun to be shining on you. He said, that's a blessing. Glory be to God. To be above ground and for the ground to not be on top of you. He said, that's a blessing. Glory be to God. I love y'all too, baby. I love y'all so much. I want you to stop complaining. I want you to stop talking about what is impossible. Stop talking about what you can't do because God showed me. He continues to show me that I don't care what the market look like. I don't care what the dating pool look like. Come on now. Stop. Stop talking about what these folks talking about. Stop agreeing with what these folks saying. They just ain't doing the work. Glory be to God. Stop talking about it. Stop getting in conversation. What do you people talk about? Oh, they don't do nothing but want for money. They just scamming. They just doing this and doing that. They, they, they just about money. They just about this, about that. That's a clear sign. That person letting you know what they mindset like. And you need to get away from folks like that. Men of God, and you know you desire to be married. Don't sit around these men talking about these women ain't no good. All these women want is your money. All they want is your money. All they want to do is use you. All of them talk about the six-figure man. They want the man with the six-figure. Every woman ain't hollering that. Come on now. Come on now. But if that's what you're focusing on, that's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to see. You ain't going to see the queens that's up under your nose every day. So you got to change your focus. And when you change what you focus on, then you're going to start seeing something different. Glory be to God. If you want love, if you desire love, God said you got to believe that it exists. He said you got to change your focus. He said you got to stop talking about the impossible. You got to stop focusing on the impossible. But he said you got to realize that I am God and that I am able to raise the dead, that I am able to raise somebody up for you. Glory be to God. I know what he'll do because I'm telling y'all he did that with me. I was not the woman that you see today. I had a nasty attitude. Come on, baby. We finna testify. <laughs> we about to testify, baby. They say you overcome by your testimony. And, and, and I'm finna testify, baby, because I was selfish. Everything was about me. Me, me, me. My, my, my. My mouth was reckless. Come on now. I'm emasculating men. I ain't got no respect for men. I ain't got no, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm just whatever. Come up, come out. I speak reckless. My mouth, I was letting the devil use me through my mouth. Let me tell y'all something. Women, come on now. Women of God, you better be careful what you're speaking out of your mouth. If you with somebody, if you are with a man that you do not respect, that you do not want, that you have lost love and respect for, it is better for you to leave that man. Do you understand me? If you know you don't respect him, if you know you don't love him, it's better for you to go. It's better for you to go. Then for you to sit down and run your mouth and tear that man down and disrespect that man and emasculate that man, it's better for you to leave than to sit down and let the devil use your mouth. Glory be to God. That's an accountability message right there. That's an accountability message right there, baby. Glory be to God. Only the grown women going to accept that one. Only the women that are willing to put on their big girl panties going to accept that one. Because, see, you don't understand, as a woman, the influence that you have over a man. You don't understand the power that your mouth have over a man. You have the power to build him up or tear him down. And if you ain't building him up, you need to let him go. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Because I'm telling y'all, baby, God had to raise me up. He had to raise me up. He had to sit me. He had to sit me down and he had to show me myself. See, we so easy to point the finger and say, you did this, you did that. But we ain't willing to sit down and take accountability and say, I did this. I did that. Oh, I'm responsible for this, for that. I need to change this. Uh huh. Then you go from relationship to relationship. You go from man to man. You go from woman to woman. You never change. Come on now. So you keep having the same experiences over and over and over again. 
You keep having the same experiences. Different people, but it's the same experiences. God said, you got to change. He said, you got to let me raise you up. Come on now. He said, you got to let me raise you from the dead, baby. He said, you got to let me blow my spirit in you so that you can become a living, breathing soul for the kingdom of God. Glory be to God. I testify today, baby. God had to put me in a slow cooker. When God put me in that slow cooker, he, he taught me how to be conscious of my words. Woo. He taught me how to think before I speak because my words have power. He taught me how life and death is in the power of my own tongue. He taught me respect. He taught me morals. He taught me values. He taught, he, he taught me integrity. Glory be to God. And this is not just about love. These are principles for every area of your life, whether it's family, whether it's health, whether it's finances, your children, whatever it is, whatever it is. These are principles that you can apply to any area of your life. God got to raise you up first. God got to deal with the inside first. You got to become the person on the inside first. Glory be to God. And so when, as God raised me up, he changed my speech. I don't talk the way I used to talk. It's people from my past that would that that if y'all talk to them, they'll probably tell y'all, oh, she nasty. She a nasty person. She did, she that. She did. Yeah, they talking about the old Toya. They talking about the old creature. Come on now. But any man that is in Christ, baby, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. That's why I told y'all they don't know you. They don't know you. They don't know the divine you, baby. Glory be to God. You got to come from somewhere. That's how the glory of God going to be shown in your life. God got to show the contrast of what you used to be versus who you are now. You got to go from Saul to Paul. Glory be to God. I love y'all so much, baby. Let God raise you up. Let God raise you up. Whatever it is that you desire in your life, whatever you want to become, all your dreams, all your goals, all your aspirations, give them to God today and let him raise you up. Let him build you slowly. Let him put you in a slow cooker. And when I hear the time will go off in the spirit and God says you are well done and you are seasoned and you are ready for your destiny, you're going to start seeing opportunities come to you that other people miss. You're going to start seeing people. You're going to meet people. You're going to meet men. You're going to meet women that other people did not see. They did not see they're going to wonder how did you get these things how did you how did you attract these opportunities and it's going to be because you understand the power of god and you believe that god is able to raise up something for you glory be to god everybody else looking for it they looking for it they looking for it in the daytime with the flashlight Ooh, they looking, 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 looking. Where the good men at? Where the good women at? Where they at? Oh, where they at? Where that at? Where that at? Where that? Where it at? Where it at? Yeah, the God said, long as you looking for it, you ain't ready for it. Come on now, long as you looking, you ain't ready. Because God said you got to turn that looker from the outside to the inside. You got to become a better person. And when you become a better person, these things that you get, you're going to understand that these are just byproducts. These are, these are just, these come along with the package of me becoming a better person. Glory be to God. See, you can't manipulate God. You can't manipulate him. You can't, you can't pick and pull from his word of what you want and what you don't want and try to get God to, you can't get God to play by your strings. It don't work like that. Don't work like that. You try to play him, you playing yourself. You got to get it right on the inside. You got to let him raise you up from the inside first. Then these things that you hear me say that God going to raise this person up. God going to raise this opportunity up. God going to raise this, raise that. He going to do it for you, baby. But you got to let him first raise up the dead on the inside of you. Because I'm telling you, he's an expert, baby. Just like he did with Lazarus. Just like he did with Lazarus. God will wait. God will wait until they say it ain't no more life in that thing. <laughs> God will linger and he'll wait around until they say it ain't no more life in this. There is no way. It is impossible. It absolutely cannot be done. I ain't never seen it. No, there's no way she can make it out of this. There's no way he can make it out of this. They just done for a stick of fork in them. They done. It is over. When God hear that, God say, okay. <laughs> God say, okay. God say, all right. Now it's time for me to move. 
now it's time for me to show up because they said all life is gone. They said it's dead. They said it ain't no coming back from this. Oh, the devil got him now. Come on now. Oh, the devil got her now. Ain't no coming back from that. She done hit rock bottom. Uh-huh. That's it. God said that's when I show up. That's when he show up, baby, because he is an expert at raising the dead, baby. When Jesus came up in that thing, they said it. They told him Lazarus had been dead for days, baby. He, he had been dead so to where he was stinking. He had been dead so to where the bugs ca came and started eating on his flesh. I could imagine in my spirit, Jesus said, no, he ain't dead enough yet. Come on now. He ain't stinking enough yet, baby. It, uh, it, ain't, it ain't got to the point where all hope is lost yet. Who am I talking to, baby? God say, just when they said could nothing be done he said that's when i bust up in that thing glory be to god that's when the holy spirit show up baby come on now god said i'm an expert at raising that which is dead glory be to god baby so the holy spirit moving so up in here the window starting to fall up y'all <laughs> The windows fogging up in this thing, baby. The Holy Spirit moving so up in here. The fire of the Holy Spirit, baby. The windows done started fogging up, y'all. I got to get some air going in this thing, baby. Glory be to God. God said, yeah, they ain't dead enough yet, baby. They ain't dead enough yet. He said, I got to let it. I got to let it get to the point where it's stinking. That thing so dead, it's stinking, baby. That thing so dead, the bugs done start eating it. That thing is dead. But when the Holy Spirit show up, baby, guess what? Whatever the bugs been eating on, they got to spit it out. Come on now. When Jesus stepped up in that thing and he said, Lazarus, come forth. Woo! I hear him calling your name today, baby. Come on now. I hear him calling your name in the spirit. He's saying, come forth. Glory be to God. And even the bugs that done ate on you, baby, I don't care what the enemy done sent to devour you. Whatever he done devoured, he got to spit it out. Glory be to God. And he got to give you your stuff back. He got to give you what is due to you. Glory be to God. And that's what I heard God say in the spirit. He said a devourer. He said that the enemy has unleashed the devourer on your life. And he been eating up, devouring. How many of y'all feel like that? Seem like everything you get a hope to, you lose it. Seems like everything you get your hands on, this is how you know the, the devouring spirit is, is, is wreaking havoc in your life. Because everything you get in your hands seems like it falls through your fingertips. Come on now. Seems like it slipped through the cracks. Seems like everything you get your hands on. I remember when that spirit was on me. When that spirit was on me, every car I get would end up wrecked. I'm, tell, I'm not telling y'all no lie. Everything I got in and started driving some way, somehow, somebody would hit it. Or I would hit somebody. Or the person I was with at the time would hit somebody. And Looked like my tire was flat every week. Looked like I was losing money. I couldn't keep no house. I had to keep moving. That's how you know that devouring spirit is wreaking havoc on your life. But I hear the Lord say that when I call your name to come forth, he said everything that this devouring spirit has eaten, it got to spit it out. Because when God called me forth, baby, and I stepped into my purpose, everything that I lost, I'm not telling y'all no lie. God gave it back a hundredfold. Glory be to God. The devil got to spit it out, baby. Let him eat all he want to. Because when God call your name, come on now. When God say come forth, baby. When God say it's time for that which is dead to be risen. The devil got to spit it out. Glory be to God. That's it, baby. The canker worms. Come on now. The canker worms and the palmer worms. God said they got to spit it out because it belongs to you. It is rightfully yours. He says you are a child of the kingdom of God, baby. And he says abundance is your birthright. But you got to believe that. Do you understand me? Can't nobody believe that for you. The president can't believe that for you. The bishop can't believe that for you. The pastor can't believe that for you. You got to believe. You got to know that you know that you sure enough know that abundance is my birthright. That I don't care what you say, devil. I have the right to be wealthy. I have the right to be healed. I have the right to be happy. I have the right to be in love. I have the right to be abundant. You got to believe that, baby. Because the only, the only foe that get it is the foe that believe. Do you understand me? And I don't care how much you think God. God ain't finna feel sorry for you. Uh-uh. He ain't finna feel sorry for you. He cannot go against his word. I don't care who you are. You got to believe, baby. Something in you got to change. Something in you got to shift. I don't care how religious you are. I don't care how long you been in church. If you don't believe, you ain't getting nothing from God. Come on now. Come on now. I love y'all.
I love y'all so much, baby. Glory be to God. That which is dead, I hear the Lord say, I'm raising it up. When they, when Jesus, when Jesus called his name, he said, Lazarus, come forth. Glory be to God. Lazarus got up, baby. That which is dead got up. Do you understand me? The bugs had ate him, had to spit him out because the, the because the master had spoke. So they had he had to get up, baby. What was holding him when he got up? They had to, they had to. He was still wrapped up in his grave clothes. Woo! I hear the Holy Spirit say, "Loose him and let him go." Loose her and let her go. I don't care what the devil got you wrapped up in and tied up in. When God say come forth, baby, the devil got to loose you and let you go. And he got to spit up everything he done ate. Glory be to God. God said, I'm an expert, baby. He said, I've been doing this a long time. Woo. He said, I ain't just get started with you. He said, I've been doing this a long time, baby. He said, I'm an expert at raising the dead. He said, can't nobody do that thing like me. Glory be to God. I don't care. I don't care what it looked like, baby. I don't care how impossible it seems. Woo. I remember the old folk used to sing a song, say, God specialized. Woo. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, God specialized. Woo. He specialized in the things that seem like they impossible. That's his specialty. But you got to believe. I love y'all. I love y'all so much, baby. If you believe, if you believe, blessed are those that believe and have not seen. Woo. If you believe, baby, I see God. I see, I see you walking on water with God. Come on now. I see you walking on water with the Holy Spirit. I see you doing the impossible, but you got to believe. I am a water walker. Come on now. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, I am a water walker. I came to do what they said could not be done. I came to let the power of the Holy Spirit shine from the inside of me. I am a water walker. Glory be to God. I love y'all so much, baby. God is an expert at raising the dead. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care how impossible it seemed. With God, all things are possible. I can do all things through Christ Jesus which strengthen me. I can walk on this water. Come on now. I can, I can, God said, I can build a house for you in the middle of a recession. Woo. He says, I can build a house for you in the middle of a crisis. I can, I can do what they said is impossible. I can do when they, I can do when they said all hope is lost. Glory be to God. I can heal your body. I can do that. God said nothing is impossible. He said I specialize in that thing. He said that is my specialty, baby. I am an expert. Somebody say God is an expert. He is the only expert. <laughs> he is the only expert, baby. He is the expert. And God says that I, I'm an expert at raising the dead. There's nothing I can't do. Nothing I can't do. You mad because God ain't moved yet. You mad because God ain't showed up yet. Would you believe me? If I tell you, have you ever thought to think? Have you what have you ever thought to think? <laughs> have you ever stopped to think that maybe God is waiting? He is waiting until it seems like all hope is lost so that his glory can be revealed. He's waiting until things get and I was telling somebody this the other day. And I was speaking about my children. I said, you know what? It actually is my oldest son. I said, you know what? I said, things have to sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. Y'all ever heard somebody say that? They said sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. And God gave me revelation of that. He said, even though it seemed like it's getting worse, he said, understand what's going on in the spirit. Y'all remember we said God is pushing the door open for you, baby. Understand what is going on in the spirit realm. God says, sometimes I linger with the blessing. Sometimes I linger. Sometimes I take a long time because he says that the glory of God is going to be revealed. He says, I'm going to come in when all hope is lost. I'm going to come in when they said it's impossible. I'm going to come in when they said it's dead. I'm going to come in when it's stinking. I'm going to come in when the bugs done ate it up. He said, that's when I'm going to show up. That's when I'm going to come in and people are going to witness the power of God. Have you ever stopped to think maybe God is using me to be a witness? Maybe God is using me. Maybe I have been chosen. I have been picked. I have been selected by God for his glory to shine through me, for his glory to shine through my story, through my marriage, through my son, through my daughter. Maybe, just maybe, I have been chosen by God for his glory to shine through me. That's how I look at my problems. And that's how I suggest you start looking at yours. Glory be to God. It is not a problem. It is an opportunity for the glory of God to be revealed in your life. 
except they see miracles, signs, and wonders. These people will not believe. God is making believers out of people, and he's doing it through you. That's, how, that's why he needs you to believe. He needs you to stay strong. You're the chosen one. Don't worry about what can't be done and what they said, this and that happening. It's very tempting to feed into that stuff, to get in them conversations with people talking down and talking bad and gossiping and, and talking about the negative things that's going on in the world. You got to get away from those people, baby. Please get away from them. Please shut down conversations like that. Because God said, I need you to believe. I need you to remain. I need you to hold to the vision long enough for me to do what I'm trying to do with you. Don't get sucked up into the world. What would have happened if I would have got sucked up into the world? If I would have just believed what they told me? If I would have just accepted what they told me? Toy, you a black country single mother with three children you divorced you ain't never you ain't never gonna be nothing you ain't never gonna have nothing you're gonna be on food stamps you're gonna be on welfare you're gonna be on medicaid you're gonna be on tanning you're gonna be on government assistance you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna live in public housing you're gonna be on section eight come on now this is what the world say this is what statistics say your son's gonna end up in jail your daughter going to end up a teenage mother. Come on now. This is what the world say. This is what statistics say. But I know God. Come on now. I know that God is an expert, baby, at raising the dead. God is an expert at taking what man said would never be nothing, would never amount to nothing. God said, all I need you to do is believe, baby, because I'm going to do the impossible with you. Watch and see. I love y'all so much, baby. I am Latoya O'Kill, and I'm going to check in with y'all later, baby. I've been in this parking lot way too long. I've been in this parking lot way too long, but the Holy Spirit apprehended me. He just let me go. So I'm going to let y'all go, baby. I love y'all, and I'm going to check in with y'all later. I pray. Ooh, before we get out, let me pray. I pray that this message falls on good ground today. I pray that the Holy Spirit will apprehend you. I pray that God will begin to raise you up. Glory be to God. I pray that you will submit to the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. I pray for your soul salvation today. I pray that the Lord will fill you with his precious Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. I pray that he will save you. And I pray that everybody that is connected to you will be saved in the name of Jesus and filled with the Holy Spirit. And that God will begin to use you for his kingdom. That God will begin to raise up opportunities for you that the world said was impossible i pray that god will begin to open up doors for you that the world slammed in your face that you will begin to walk on water that you will defy the odds that you will do what man said was impossible through the power of the holy spirit that is within you in jesus name in jesus name i love y'all so much and i'll check in with y'all later